Hello everybody, it's your friend Stevie B here. Uh, I'm back in action, it's 2023. Welcome to uh, my new studio. So I'm still getting a setup. I uh, haven't quite found all the right angles for everything just yet, uh, but I am just so excited to have my own studio space. This is like a dream come true for me. I know that I'm just gonna write a ton of new music this year. I'm feeling so inspired already. Uh, my wife and I just moved into this new place and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been really hectic. But yeah, I got a beautiful view. Uh, it's very spacious. Uh, we're super happy and uh, it really beats working out of my bedroom. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting into it. Okay, so in this video today, we're gonna take one look back at 2022 uh, and some of the income that I made uh, last year. I know that I'm a little bit behind schedule for this one. Um, I wanted to make this video before I left for Christmas vacation, uh, but I ran out of time. So we're just gonna jump right into it here. I'm gonna break down exactly what I made as a music producer slash uh, musician, whatever you wanna call me, uh, last year. Always feel a little bit weird about making these videos. Uh, I think most of you know me well enough uh, to know that this isn't a flex of any kind. In fact, several people reached out to me and mentioned that they were you know, really inspired and appreciated the transparency from uh, the last video I made like this, which was my income breakdown for uh, 2021, which I made a year ago. Um, I'll link that up above somewhere if you wanna check it out. So I will continue to make these videos and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, yeah, hopefully it gets better year after year. Um, one can only hope. So I will start with the the smallest income stream and, and then uh, end up with the largest. So starting at the very bottom uh, was my SoCan royalties, believe it or not. So performance royalties in 2022 were uh, pretty low uh, at $168. So as many of you already know, I'm still getting situated in the TV licensing space. And in fact, I actually had uh, a couple of placements just at the end of last year, which I was really, really excited about. Um, I was hoping to do more, uh, you know, hoping to make more performance royalties uh, throughout uh, 2022, but um, things move slowly with uh, with sync and and the problem is always that I'm just so busy with the custom composing um, and the and the royalty free market. I mean, it just keeps me so busy uh, that there's very little time to set aside for writing like sync music for uh, TV and production libraries. But I'm hoping that uh, by the time I do this same video for uh, this year's breakdown in a year from now, uh, that this number will be significantly higher uh, because I can expect some uh, performance royalty payouts uh, throughout this year. Now that $168, uh, uh, was actually for a TV placement uh, for something that was placed years ago on a show called uh, Winona Earp. And it was for a track that I placed for my band, uh, Wooden Horseman. And it still continues to this day, you know, years after the placement, I still get some money rolling in uh, from uh, from SoCan. SoCan is the uh, performance royalty organization here in Canada, by the way. It's kind of like the Canadian version of BMI or ASCAP. Okay, moving on. Uh, next one was live gigs. Uh, now this is crazy because, you know, in years previous to COVID, uh, live gigs uh, amounted for a, a large portion of my of my annual income. And last year, I probably made somewhere in between $500 and $1,000. Um, not very many gigs, clearly. I probably, you know, did uh, gross more than uh, $500 over the year, but a lot of it was kind of, it kind of just broke even. Like, you know, I didn't charge my friends um, to play their wedding, but we were paid like consideration fees for like gas uh, and some insurance and things like that, that kind of thing. But personally, uh, you know, the amount of money I made from live gigs was very little. Uh, and I did a few opening gigs, you know, here in town uh, every you know, once every, you know, two months or something like that. So somewhere between 500 and a thousand dollars. Also hoping that this year is going to be a little bit better in the live music department. And uh, I've already got a festival booked for this summer. It's looking promising. We'll see how it goes. Performing isn't like a huge priority uh, for me uh, at this point. Uh, it used to be much more so, but uh, these days, you know, as you guys know, uh, I make most of my money through uh, music production. Okay, next one up. Uh, again, not super like production music related, I know, but you guys might find this interesting. Um, affiliate marketing. I made $624 uh, as an affiliate marketer for Output. Now you guys have seen me use Output products in uh, some of my 
uh, production videos like Arcade, for example. I also love their plugins and, uh, you know, some of their uh, VSTs like Analog Brass and Winds. They make a lot of great stuff. I think they're a great company and I was really happy to do uh, some affiliate marketing for them. All I had to do is put a link, um, you know, in the description of my YouTube videos where I was using the products and that alone generated $624 over the course of a year. Very cool. Okay, so next one up was streaming and I'm really stoked about this. Uh, I made a thousand dollars through uh, DistroKid. I haven't even collected it yet, uh, but that's what I'm due uh, right now. And this is of course for all the music that I put out to Spotify. I'm assuming that most of that money is through um, is from Spotify streams, but also probably uh, Apple Music as well, and you know all of the other streaming services that I don't know that much about. Yeah, but altogether, you know, I, I probably something like 124,000 uh, streams over the course of the year. Uh, a lot of that was due to the exposure that my music got through uh, being on Art list and yeah a thousand bucks is, is great I'll take it okay next up is Google ad revenue and yeah YouTube so YouTube paid me twelve hundred dollars over the last year which is so cool um, because it's directly because of you guys so thank you for watching um, the videos that I make and yeah it's it's such a cool little bonus to be able to make a bit of money I mean it's not a lot of money but it's you know it's great and YouTube is of course you know how I generate all of my um, interest towards the Production Music Academy, uh, towards the Discord server, towards my uh, sample and MIDI pack company, productionmusictools.com. So YouTube is incredibly important to me these days. And of course, it is the way that I connect um, with you guys all over the world. Of course, I'd love the ad revenue to be like 10 times that, that would be amazing. Uh, but, but yeah, $1,200 is a great little bonus and I'm so excited to continue to, you know, put out these videos on YouTube and to evolve and uh, for you guys to take that journey with me. So speaking of productionmusictools.com, next on the list is the MIDI and sample packs that I sell. And uh, yeah, throughout 2022, I made $3,540, which is honestly more than I, I ever imagined that I would make selling those things. I don't do hardly any advertising for them. I mean, I mention them in my YouTube videos sometimes. I put some demos up on uh, on SoundCloud. I have an Instagram account for productionmusictools.com and I still haven't put a post up. It's just really, really difficult to find the time to do any like meaningful advertising. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel for it and I've done two videos, so that's something. But mostly people hear about these, uh, you know, these MIDI packs and sample packs through my email list. Um, and that's where I kind of, you know, do the most of my uh, advertising, I guess, uh, for them. So that's cool. $3,500 is, is a decent little chunk of cash. I think that they're useful for, you know, the people that, that buy them. I certainly use them all the time. Um, and I got some plans for, for this year to release several new packs. Uh, and maybe I should, you know, talk about them more on, on, uh, on this channel because they are really fun. But uh, there's so many things to talk about. I never know which one to, to tackle week by week. It's always just like there's too many things, uh, you know, competing for my attention all the time. Okay, so the final two here, and these are the ones that I think you're going to find the most interesting: uh, custom composing and film scoring. Um, last year, I made nineteen thousand dollars doing those two, and uh, that includes all of the, uh, the the commissions that I get from Artlist Originals, as well as like little, you know, film scoring projects, of which there was not that many uh, last year, to be honest. One of the film scoring projects I actually completed in 2021 and got paid in 2022. So I'm including that income there uh, as well. But, but yeah, custom composing continues to be like a super, uh, you know, important part of my annual income. I really, really hope that just continues. Uh, because I have a ton of fun doing it and I'm hoping to do a whole lot more uh, this year as well. And last but not least is my payout from uh, both Artlist and Motion Array. I'm combining that into one figure here, which was $29,800. So this is the money that's generated from my tracks being downloaded on both of those sites, Motion Array and Artlist. And yeah, I mean, you know, it was a big year. It was a really big year and uh, one of the reasons for it was that Motion Array uh, did exceptionally well uh, for me last year. So my art list royalty payout last year was a little bit less than it was in 2021, uh, but I more than made up for it with uh, my income from Motion Array, which was a real surprise for me. I didn't think it was gonna go that way. But yeah, I really appreciate um, you know the folks at Artlist and Motion Array. They've been really good to me, uh, really supportive of my music. They even sent me some, some cool merch. Check out this Artlist sweater. 
keeping me warm in this miserable weather. Okay, so all of that aside, not included here um, is another very significant portion of my income, uh, which comes from all of the educational content that I create. So, um, you know, all of the, uh, the the courses that live on Teachable, as well as um, the subscription uh, income from the Production Music Academy. Not to mention the one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultations that I've been doing with uh, some of the members of the Academy as of late. Uh, all of those things add up to like a pretty nice chunk of supplemental income for me. And I'm not going to say exactly how much all of that is, but I will just say that 2022 um, was a really, really good year uh, for me. I'm so grateful for that. Uh, it was the, the best year that I've ever had financially. And to be honest, you know, I worked hard for it. I really did. Uh, you know, several times throughout the last year, um, I burnt myself out and I had to take like a breather and just like check my mental health. I tried to take one day off a week. I, you know, I basically took Saturdays off. Uh, that's still sort of, you know, how I function, but otherwise it's like, uh, you know, 12 to 15 hour days, six days a week. And I love what I do. Uh, you know, I'm not complaining at all. And I learned like a ton. I learned a lot in the process. I didn't quite break the six figure mark um, last year, but I am confident that, you know, by improving my workflow and just getting things organized and like writing, you know, more music. Hopefully this year I'm going to write a lot more music uh, that I, you know, this could be the year that I break uh, six figures in income. That's certainly one of my goals. Not that money is like the most important thing to me. Uh, I'm really just happy to be able to pay the rent and, uh, you know, to have this new space to live in. Uh, that's, you know, enough for me. Okay, so my goals for this year are in order. I've written them down. I really think you should write your goals down too. Uh, you know, if you haven't already, I think it helps. Um, goal number one, 10,000 YouTube subs uh, by the end of this year. I don't know if I can make it, but I'm at about almost 6,000 uh, subscribers at the time that I'm recording this video. I think I could get 4,000 more into the party. We'll see uh, what happens, but I'm hopeful. 50 track breakdowns for the Production Music Academy, uh, including multiple courses throughout the year as well. One of my big goals is also to streamline and organize my content creation process. Uh, I think being in this studio space is really gonna help that. Once I get everything set up here, uh, another goal of mine is to write two to three cues per week minimum. I'm also going to be, uh, one of my goals is to release uh, new music on Spotify every two weeks throughout the entire year. And I'm gonna be sharing that process with you here on YouTube. Another goal is, of course, as I mentioned uh, earlier in this video, continue to make inroads into the uh, the TV sync licensing uh, world, along with, you know, the royalty-free music library world as well. I'm always down to, uh, you know, to try to expand and branch out and, uh, you know, join other libraries that I haven't already. Motion Array and Artlist definitely keep me super busy, but there are other ones out there too, which are worth exploring. So I've also written down a goal here of sharing my process on YouTube and the Academy uh, throughout the year, which, you know, I do already, but, but again, I just, you know, I like writing things down. It helps. Last on this list of goals for me is to focus more on exercise and proper diet. I don't want to be too hard on myself, you know, here. I, I do exercise regularly. I eat pretty well, uh, but over this Christmas break, I just kind of sat on my ass for like two weeks and like ate junk food it was pretty bad so uh, i got a few pounds to work off um and uh yeah i'm gonna get into a pretty intense routine here as soon as i get everything set up in this studio uh hopefully you will see me looking really healthy uh in a month's time or more <laughs> hopefully not more sorry less all right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, please, as always, leave a comment below. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know what your goals are uh, for this year. So thanks for following the channel, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, to the members of the Academy, I wanna thank you personally for your patience. I've been kind of offline the last two weeks while I'm sorting out my life, but I'm about to kick it into high gear. Uh, you're gonna see a lot more of me here on YouTube. I'm gonna finish up those courses that I've been working on the last month. So here we go, 2023. Uh, let's focus on our goals together, guys. Let's make some music income together. Let's share our progress and inspire uh, each other. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Stephen Bedall. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.